of the watchers calling with highs today. Some of them are pretty warm. Lake breeze arrives. That's why the next few days we're not going to be seeing uh, those warm temperatures, at least here in Canal Park. But how long will that lake breeze last? I'll let you know right here in my forecast. First, weather watchers, some really warm temperatures, 51 in Ely, 51 in Brimston. Not quite as warm as we were a couple weeks back or one week back when we had temperatures in the 60s up there in Ely. So very warm temperatures today as well. 61 though is the warm spot. Iron River has the warm spot of all the weather watchers. 54 in Ironwood, 50 degrees for high in Ashland. So talking about our forecast, we have high pressure to our north and it's not really affecting our weather all that much right now. We're seeing kind of a northwest wind. But as this high pressure sinks down to the south, our winds will shift out of the east. And whenever that happens in March, it's not good news if you like warm temperatures and if you live near Lake Superior. And this easterly wind on Sunday will honestly be pretty strong. So the lake breeze will make it in 20, 30, 40 miles away from the lake. So most of that northland uh, will be a little bit cooler tomorrow. That high moves out. And this low pressure system will just churn to our south. It's not going to be really affecting our weather all that much, but all it will do is uh, sustain that easterly wind. So the lake breeze lasts through Sunday and through Monday. As we head into Monday evening, the low tries to creep its way up here, but it really gets into a lot of dry air associated with this high. And so maybe just some snow showers in the southern uh, tips of the Northland. This Twin Cities could see a little bit of snow. Monday afternoon and into Tuesday morning. Other than that, that low really isn't going to be affecting our weather all that much. I want to talk about temperatures because of that lake breeze. So waking up Sunday morning, everyone's basically in the low and mid 20s. That's where we're all going to bottom out tonight with clear skies, mid 20s. But as we head into the afternoon, you can notice much cooler temperatures surrounding Lake Superior. 30 in Duluth, 28 in Silver Bay, 30 there in Ashland. But go off to the west, 20, 30 miles. It's around 40, 42, 43 degrees. So not all of us will be colder th tomorrow, but we'll be a lot colder if you're near Lake Superior. Maybe some lake effect clouds Monday, uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. Monday morning waking up in the low 20s, so a little bit chilly out there. And that lake breeze continues into Monday afternoon. Again, that snow likely staying to the south. Forecast for tonight. Basically, everyone will be in the upper teens and low 20s. Pretty uniform uh, night with mostly clear skies. As we head into tomorrow, though, you'll see that lake breeze really affect temperatures right along the south shore, 40s away from Lake Superior, and same in Minnesota, 34 for a high in Duluth, 41 for a high in Grand Rapids away from the lake. So as we look at the seven-day forecast, we'll notice that lake breeze will last into the first couple days of the seven-day, but warmer temperatures arrive as we head into midweek, and even late next weekend looks really mild. So there's some good news for you. Okay, so a little bit of a dip. Just, gets a just because colder. of Lake Superior. If we didn't have Lake Superior here, yeah, yeah. We'd, be, we'd be warm. That Lake Superior. It's, it's a pain sometimes. It can be, but it's beautiful. So yep. we'll take it. Alex, thanks.